I know, it's all right. After you did it? Yeah, yeah it's all right. Well, just to go through, because I, you guys didn't have the homework quiz with you to write down, so what I'd like you to do is write down the actual answer, Cody, on your sheet of paper. So once you can grade it, just grade it, and then you can go and write down you know, the answer, even though you weren't here, so I'll just write down this problem and follow along. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to do is when simplifying the square root, all right, the main important thing that we, we want to do is break it down into the square root of numbers, because we know we can take the square root of 1, we can take the square root of 9, or square root of 4, square root of 9, square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 36. These are all what we call square numbers because we can take the square root of them. And by doing that, you guys can kind of see a pattern working up there. So when Mallory, when I ask you to take the square root of 99, what I'd like you to do, OK, what I would like you guys to be able to do is simply just break up the square root of 99 into a product of numbers where you're including one of your square numbers. So I look at this and I say, out of these numbers, you know, and you can keep on going up, you can keep on going up, which of these numbers can I take the square root of that divides into, um, into 99? And you say, well, I can break it up into 9 times 11. Then we know the square root of 9 is equal to 3. We don't have the square root of 11, right? So we're just going to leave it under the radical. And that's it. Okay. So if you got that answer, um, you can write an M. If you made a small mistake,